Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Somos Biology. In this video, I am going to answer one of the most asked questions regarding CSINET examination. That is, how many hours to study for the CSINET examination. If you are a CSINET aspirant, this question will always bother you. And I had a lot of days that I had to study how many hours to study. How many hours to study. And you know, as I wanted to believe this idea that some may qualify CSINET by reading 2 hours a day, some may qualify NET even reading may not qualify net even reading 20, uh, like 12 hours a day but still i found something which is really important really interesting and i was actually uh, i've been asked this question for a couple of years but I, I was doing a study i was researching based on the students that they joined shomos biology online coaching and with this idea based on their tests and the performance in the test i formulated this particular idea and i found out those who study at a particular rate and uh, more importantly at a repeated and what we can say a continuous manner has higher chance of qualifying say and so what i can say is continuity is very very important that you are focused remain focused is very very important focus nahi rahoge continuation nahi rahega to qualification generally difficulty hota hai hone mein aisa nahi hai ki ek din 10 ghante pad liya aur ek din nahi char din gap de diya fir uske baad fir se char ghanta aur ek banda hai jo 2 ghante karke 3 ghante karke har roz de raha hai so between these two person, the second person will have higher chance to qualify. So here I have uh, this table for you. I have a situation based on uh, which current state you are uh, you belong. And then we have target time frame. I have hours per day that you can devote based on that. And number of units that you can cover based on that. So after this whole lecture, you can take a screenshot of this table as well. Because it's going to help you to understand. So first things first is MSc done. This is the category who has maximum time in their hand, right? If your MSc is done, if you're a pass out candidate of MSc, you know that you have plenty of time in your hand and six months is sufficient for you to qualify CSRNet. Yes, I'm saying six months is sufficient. Although one year is uh, more of, like more often prescribed, but six months is still sufficient. If you devote eight to 10 hours a day for your preparation, then you can cover nine to 10 units, nine to 10 units. Even if you give 8 to 10 hours a day for a proper concrete preparation. I'm not talking about just qualifying it in one month, just revising from a notebook, not like that. A concrete good preparation. If you are not qualifying in this 6 months, you are going to do that in the upcoming 6 months anyway. That's how good performance and that's how better performance and preparation is actually. So this category of students, or MSc done, has the maximum chance, maximum time spent. Now again, the time spent depends on you. Even if MSc is done, you may not study 8 to 10 hours a day for different reasons. Many cannot study due to migraine, many cannot study due to health issues, mental issues. And right now, <clears throat> noise. My God, noise. There are so much noise from surroundings. Itna noise ho chuka hai. Matlab, abhi ek cheez padne jao, dusra pop up aa jayega, usme click karoge, ek news aa jata hai, news ke niche do uh, uh, picture aa jayega, celebrity ka usme click karoge, uska details jane lagoge, wahan se shopping site mein chale jana. To ye sab bahut confusing hai. It's very much distracting these days. That's why it's always advisable that during that hour of study, you should stop the noise surrounding you and that uh, and for that the best thing is to get rid of the social media or get rid of your phone uh, if you are studying from laptop then get rid of the phone so that's one thing next category uh yeah category my next type is 12 months if msc candidates can give 12 months then they can cover every single unit all the 13 units in a proper manner and by studying only five to six hours a day i believe five to six hours a day is more preferable to many of you because these days 8 to 10 hours a day study is not that cup of tea for most of you but if you can give 5 to 6 hours a day and you want to cover all the units then devote 12 months you can do that just fine next category is MSc pursuing candidates now if you are pursuing MSc that means your MSc is not done yet so your ongoing candidate for you also we have a plan so don't worry about it so for a 6 month time frame you know, depends on how, man, how much time you can devote per day. 3 to 4 hours a day. If you, if you can devote 3 to 4 hours a day as an MSc pursuing candidate, for 6 months you can cover 5 to 6 units just fine. Pretty good. Then if you can apply for 12 months, same 3 to 4 hours a day preparation for 12 months, you can cover 9 to 10 units. Now I believe 5 to 6 units is not enough to qualify net GRF 
but see you can qualify ls but it's not it's of no importance because your msc is not done but 3 to 4 hours a day for 12 months still you can cover 9 to 10 units and believe me 10 units enough 10 units are enough for you to attain part b and part c questions if you get to know about it you can qualify quite easily okay that's a good thing and third category of person working professional working person for working person i will not recommend 6 month time frame at all because for 6 month you are not going to get that much of time or exposure to read right so i'll not recommend it for working person i'll tell you that you need to devote 12 months although age limit is a big big problem if you have age limit constriction then 6 month is the option you need to devote some time you need to manage some time from your day to day life otherwise 12 months because working uh, professional get only 2 to 3 uh, 3 hours a day study and that's of maximum i believe uh, <clears throat> some even less than that because they can only get to study at night or at the morning in the morning depends on the condition depends on their own routine so if you can get 2 to 3 hours a day 12 month time frame you can cover 7 to 8 units and i believe even with 7 to 8 units you can qualify csr net yes can be done because approximately 5 to 6 questions 5 questions uh, per unit in part c so 8 unit if you cover you will get 40 questions you need to answer 25 out of 40 you have less choice but still you can do it. it's manageable okay but better is 18 months if you have time in your hand and if you have 18 months particularly working women they have 33 years age limit for any woman for any category of csr net life science 33 years age limit so they have age limit of 18 months if you study two to three two to three hours a day for 18 months number of units you can cover eight to ten units and that is good enough for you to qualify csr net examination and you'll get a good rank as well now the last category mother or working mother working professional even more difficult so we are going from msc done towards mother and the difficulty level is increasing because they have less time to prepare so mothers have the least time to prepare if you're devoting six months i'm assuming that you are a housewife and a mother at home not at work if you are a mother at work then in that case it will be even more difficult but if you're a mother at home then you can devote two to three hours a day and if you can do that when your baby sleeps at that time point two to three hours a day six months you can cover five to six units which is not enough 12 months you can cover two to three hours a day and you can cover six to eight units why lesser units because as a you know housewife you have plenty of other works and you are invested in so many different things you will not focus you will not be able to focus on things and the most difficult part for you for your preparation would be to forget things you'll forget things even faster than anyone else so if you increase the length of your preparation frame you'll forget even more so six to eight units if you prepare eight units in 12 months that is good appear in the exam try to qualify one thing you have an advantage that is the age limit 33 years but rest are not advantages for you but if you can devote three to four hours a day for that same 12 months you can get to cover eight to ten units properly and that is good enough for you to qualify net here and i will not advise you to more than 12 months for your preparation as a mother because the more time you spend the more you'll forget i'm speaking from my experience of teaching csi for more than 10 years right now and the more you study you know after a year you'll forget most of the things so your target should be one year maximum try to increase the number of hours per day in your preparation so that is the overall idea हिंदी में एक बार बोल देता हूँ हिंदी जो जो लोग हिंदी में जानना चाहते हैं उन लोगों के लिए देखो एम से लेकर वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल देन मदर तक यहाँ पे डिफिकल्टी लेवल जो है बढ़ रहा है एम वालों के लिए सबसे अच्छा कंडीशन सबसे अच्छा टाइम है ये एम एस परसुइंग कैंडिडेट्स के लिए भी बहुत अच्छा टाइम है ये क्योंकि उनके पास टाइम बहुत ज़्यादा होता है एज अ मेल पुरुषों के लिए तो ट्वेंटी एट फीमेल्स के लिए ये थर्टी थ्री है तो फीमेल है तो मदर जो कैटेगरी आता है फीमेल में वहाँ पर टाइम हाथ में ज़्यादा होता है मगर दिन में टाइम देने के लिए बहुत कम होते हैं वहीं पे वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल के लिए भी दिन में देने के लिए टाइम बहुत कम होता है आप एम्प्लॉयर की जगह पे जाके सी एस नेट की वीडियोस नहीं देख सकते राइट सो दीज आर प्रॉब्लम्स दैट दे नीड टू फेस विच यू डोंट हैव टू फेस सो इफ यू आर एम एस सी कैंडिडेट और एम एस सी परसुइंग कैंडिडेट एम एस सी पास आउट कैंडिडेट डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम 
ये मुझे ना चिड़ आता है जब मैं देखता हूँ कोई एम एस कैंडिडेट वो बोल रहा है कि मैं नेट क्वालिफाई करना चाहता हूँ मगर वो काम नहीं कर रहा है क्वालिफाई करने के लिए एक सीरियस नहीं है एग्जाम को लेकर डोंट डू दैट बिकॉज अदर्स ऐसे कैटेगरी ऑफ कैंडिडेट्स होंगे जिनको बहुत ही डिफिकल्ट होंगे दिन में दो घंटा निकालना स्टडी के लिए आपको तो बहुत सारे टाइम है आप, आप लोगों के पास यू हैव प्लेंटी ऑफ टाइम्स इन्वेस्ट इट यूटिलाइज इट किसी की ब्रेन डम नहीं है आज के दिन में हर कोई स्मार्ट है बस सिर्फ स्टडी करना होता है परजिवरेंस इज द की जिसको परजिवरेंस है वो क्वालिफाई कर जाएगा जिसका नहीं वो नहीं करेगा सिंपल सी बात है यू कैन नॉट से दैट आई एम मोर इंटेलिजेंट दैट पर्सन सो आई क्वालिफाई नो एवरीबडी इज इंटेलिजेंट हाँ हो सकता है कि किसी को कम टाइम लगता है समझने में किसी को ज्यादा किसी को फॉरन ऑथर बुक समझ आता है किसी को कम मगर इससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता फर्क पड़ता है एटीट्यूड में एटीट्यूड मंगवा के रखो एटीट्यूड कंटिन्यू करो मेहनत करो एंड दैट्स देर इज नो सब्सटीट्यूट फॉर हार्ड वर्क देर इज नो सब्सटीट्यूट जितना चीनी डालोगे उतना ही मीठा होगा राइट right? यही बात होता है सिंपल एज दैट सो दैट्स हाउ ओनली यू कैन क्वालिफाई कोई भी आके आपसे कहे कोई भी कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट कोई भी ओनर आके मैं तो एक महीने में करवा दूंगा दो महीने में करवा दूंगा हो नहीं सकता भाई वो अंदा खुद नहीं किया आप किसी को सक्सेसफुल देखते हो ना तो आप उसको सक्सेस को देख के मेजर करते हो कि यार क्या सक्सेस हो ज्यादा मिल गया उसका बैक साइड का जो स्टोरी होता है वो आप नहीं देखते किसी को नहीं दिखता सो थिंक अबाउट आस वी आर मेकिंग वीडियोस फॉर यू शोमोस बायोलॉजी आई एम मेकिंग वीडियोस इन दिस चैनल सिंस टू माय चैनल इज लिस्टेड टू आई एम मेकिंग वीडियोज फ्रॉम टू फॉर दिस दिस कैटेगरी सी एस नेट कैटेगरी सिंस देन so I have this perseverance why not you अब कि कोई बोलेगा कि आपको तो perseverance है क्योंकि आपको पैसा मिलता है वीडियो देते हो यूट्यूब से अर्निंग होता है कोचिंग से अर्निंग होता है कोचिंग से अर्निंग होता है यूट्यूब से अर्निंग होता है अर्निंग के लिए ही अगर कर रहा हूं मैं तो आप लोगों को भी ये सोचना है कि पी एच डी जब जे आर एफ क्लियर हो जाएगा उसके बाद तो स्टाइफिन मिलेगा सो यू गेट स्टाइफिन सो दैट इज द सेम ड्रिविंग फोर्स महीने का एक अमाउंट मिलेगा पी एच डी भी होगा पोस्ट डॉक के लिए बाहर भी जाओगे अभी तो बाहर जाना फैशन है लोग इसको मेजर करते हैं एज अ पार्ट ऑफ सक्सेस वो भी मिलेगा वाई यू आर नॉट गेटिंग परसिवरेंस फॉर दैट ड्रीविंग फोर्स एक ही है सभी का ड्रीविंग फोर्स है राइट सो थिंक अबाउट इट सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट दिस वीडियो लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज इज द लाइक बटन शेयर दिस वीडियो विद फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल टू गेट मोर वीडियोज लाइक दैट इन फ्यूचर थैंक यू बाय